All right, folks, what is good? Quick video. Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, 40 to 3. Georgia Southern beats Ball State 40 to 3. Listen, I was at the county fair here and um, I took my family out. You know, they had a good time. A little bit on the tedious side, running around with a four year old. But I will tell you this, it was worth it. He had a blast, and he wants to go again. Um, so y'all know how it goes if y'all have little children. It, they, they they just have fun at places like that. But during the game, I had the phone, ESPN Plus, watching this game. Georgia Southern Eagles, 40-3, to man. They came and took care of business against Ball State like it was nobody's business. Davis Brennan, 34-46, 344, 5 I'm mean, sorry, four touchdowns, no interceptions, 7.5 yards a pass. And uh, what can you say? Bounce back for sure after the Wisconsin game. And uh, like I said, this is one of the reasons why I feel that Georgia Southern can play with anybody in the country. They can play with anybody. Wisconsin for sure should have had their hands full. And they did for that first half. But when you turn the ball over that many times, that's what happens. Not today. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. The defense played the lights out. They only gave up like 190 yards total in college. That is a big deal. You give up that much, that is a really big deal when you can give up that much. And uh, it was it just showed that these guys came to play. Two interceptions, one by uh, Shamar Bartholomew, a big, huge pickup from the FCS. And I think it was um, Jalen Denton had one, the transfer from Ole Miss. I mean... At first, I was not really here for the transfers. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like a traditionalist, but it seemed like the transfers are the ones that's making a difference. Not, you know, and, and when you mix that up with veterans like a Caleb Hood, or you turn it around with the with the Davis Brin or Anthony Queeley. I mean, you look at these guys. Caleb Hood had over 100 yards receiving today. Anthony Queeley had a touchdown. Keaton Upshaw, another transfer, had a touchdown. Evan Lester, he's another transfer that had a touchdown. And when you think about the homegrown guys who was recruited, like the O.J. Arnolds had 90 yards on nine carries, easily could have had a 100-yard game, easily could have had a 150-yard game if you fed him the ball maybe like five or six more times. You know, I mean, it, it was just a, it was just a, a outright woodshed whooping. You know, um, you know, you talk about what happened with, uh, uh, I know some people were talking about what happened with Dion against Oregon, but I mean, look. It, that was going to happen regardless. I mean, Oregon was just a better team. But when you look at these teams like Ball State and Georgia Southern that are somewhat evenly matched in some ways, they, we, I think we it just showed that we have slightly better talent overall when it comes to just, uh, uh, just I mean, just, like it's just best, better talent. It's not as evenly matched as it looks. On paper, it may look like it's evenly matched. But Georgia Southern just runs a better scheme. And I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> you know, when you just have run a better scheme compared to what Ball State does, it just showed on paper. I mean, I mean, I mean, it just showed in, you know, on, on television. Phenomenal game. Um, they only had 123 yards passing from Mendoza. Um, Samoza, I think I said that right. Samoza. Okay. And Kale Kelly only had 37 yards passing. So, it, it, it just goes to show you exactly what we're about. You know, Georgia Southern, 11 different receivers. You had, what, that, what five, six, seven, eight, nine different guys run the ball. You know, you even had Katie Dorsey out there running the ball a little bit. Terion Dixon had some shine. I mean, you, you just have a group of guys that are just here, they're ready to go and play. You know, and, 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 and that's what's going to make us so dangerous when it comes to conference play next week. You know, uh, I'm actually surprised that Coastal lost to Georgia State. But Georgia State has to get some credit, you know. Georgia State is actually looking good so far this season. Got to gotta tip my hat to them. But at the same time, we should be on our P's and Q's when it comes to Coastal because Coastal's been a thorn in our side for a while. And all the other teams throughout the conference, because conference play starts, we will, you know, talk about them week by week. But overall, man, Georgia Southern, man, Georgia Southern, I, I don't even know what else to say. This was just a dominant performance unlike no other. I, I, I knew that we could probably win this game by 14, 21 points, but to beat, beat, beat these guys by 37 points, that's just unreal. You know, I think, you know, right now, I think Captain Clack may have this game up on um on YouTube. I'm going to go back and watch it. You know, this was just a great game. I, I enjoyed every bit of it. I'm definitely going to look at it. 
while I'm just sitting here now compared to me watching the game and, you know, tending to my son while he's at the fair having a ball. You know, you know, shout out to my wife. She did a pretty good job of watching him as well. You know, she's just I mean, she's just phenomenal. I mean, it, it, it's just it is what it is. But nevertheless, I didn't ramble enough. I said enough. I probably would twisted my words a little bit, but I appreciate y'all making it this far because um, I'm, I'm actually extremely excited at this. Georgia Southern, man, 40-3 to over Ball State going into conference play. And if you really take away what happened at Wisconsin, you you really had a pretty good out-of-conference you know schedule, and it looked really good. So um, let's see what happens from here on out. You know, real football starts, starting with uh, Coastal and – they're going to be on NFL Network. That's going to be awesome. So I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys once again for the support. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk Falcons on the next video. All right, y'all. Let me get up out of here. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Peace.